and welcome back to Let's Play Harvest Moon, another one for life. Let's get to work. Uh, what day is it today? The 7th? Yep, 7th. Oh, I think Cheddar has already watered the crops. I think I saw that cutscene uh, before I loaded up. Let's find out. Yeah, looks like the crops have been watered. Let me just make sure he actually got all of them. He didn't miss the big field. No, he got... No, wait, no. Huh. Maybe you don't have to water trees in this game. Let's just keep watering them just in case. Better safe than sorry. Don't want to risk uh, accidentally losing my trees by this point. Alright, so how are the rest of the animals doing? Oh, yep, yeah, that is definitely grass. Hi, Peanut. But yeah, we have grass now. Oh god. So yeah, the hunger times are over. We don't really have to worry about food for now. Although now we're going, going back to egg quality milk. Uh, it has been a while since she gave birth. Then the fact that it's starting to get close to summer, so her milk isn't gonna be as good. Oh well. Oh wait! Did we all get three bottles? Oh, we all got three bottles! Alright, let's get that- Oh wait, are you asleep? Nope, he's fine. I guess, uh, sheep don't really mind if they're asleep when you cut their wool off. Alright, so we got the golden fleece. Uh, Ron is fine. Let's go check on Cleo. So let's see, Van should be coming to town tomorrow. Tomorrow's the 8th. Oh, Cleo needs food. She should be giving birth like any day now. I hope. Let's see, uh, she should be giving birth in the next few days. When did we isolate her again? Like, near the beginning of the season? Oh well. Let's see what's happening in town today. Come on, Dizzy. I might also go grab even more fertilizer just in case. Just so that we'll have plenty of grass to go around. Uh, I don't think anyone's out and about right now. It's like 9 in the morning. Everyone's either at work or asleep. Actually, is Gustafa around? Let's see what he's up to. Oh, he's still asleep. I guess he does sleep, and he doesn't have to get up early. It's not like there's a huge demand for a musician at, what, 7 in the morning? Alright, anyways, I do want to grab a couple bags of fertilizer. Yeah. Eventually, yeah, I think by the end of the year, I want that field to be, like, completely fertilized. That, or that, uh, all the grass. Actually, that might not be feasible. Now that I think about it. Also, is nobody working here? Where's uh, Celia? No, she's not here. Alright. I guess Vesta's just not open for the day, because... Yeah, I think I saw her, like, wandering around earlier. Maybe she'll sell me stuff inside the house, but... It might not be feasible to fertilize the... Actually, we could. To fertilize the entire field and try to get that, uh, milk... Or not milk. Food processing room by the end of the year. We do need to save up my $30,000. Gold. Whatever. Give me 10 bags. 16 bags. But yeah, we need to save up like around... Nope. Uh, what is it? Oh! Wait, what? Is this the chicken or the cow? Oh my god! Oh, it's just a normal cow. Yeah, that is the thing about, uh, was it, Star Bulls. They can give you any type of cow. Oh, it's female, too. Oh, we can't keep... Well, even if it wasn't male... Mm. Uh, so we need to think of a name for her. Have we u No, we've already used uh, Molly, I think. Uh, the thing is, we're going to probably be selling her to make room for the other type of... For, like, a marble cow. I'm not going to sell her until she's, like, fully grown, though, so... I guess we'll be keeping her for a while, but I did not expect her to be born this early. Uh, how about... Pam? There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll put her right here. Unfortunately, we're going to have to sell Pam. If she had been, like, a star bull or a marble bull, I would have kept her bull. Cow, I would have kept her, but she's just a regular cow. 
Maybe your affection with your, uh, what is it, Star Bowl actually does affect what type of bull you get. Also, now that Cleo's finished giving birth, get out here. Time for you to get some sunshine. Also, time for me to start milking you. Oh, yeah, we're gonna get brown uh, cow milk now. Here we go, Cleo. Or not Cleo, you're not Cleo. That's your mom. Here you go, what's your name again, Pam? Oh, Pam, once you're grown up, I'm gonna sell you. I don't want to sell her right away, just because that would upset Cleo. Actually, if I wanted to get ahead, we could now just, like, impregnate, uh, what's her name? Peanut immediately. Actually, yeah, you know, uh, we might cut... Mm. Honestly, yeah, it might be a good idea just to impregnate her immediately now. Because I was going to do it in a few days anyway, so why not? Uh, I don't think Takura is back yet, is he? Not yet. Alright, Miracle Potion. Uh, let's use... Where is she? Oh, Peanut. And with Ron. Alright, it's going to be a few days early, but you know what? The less time I have, or the less time I have in between milkings, the better. You're gonna be a mommy again for, the, like, the third time. Actually, is it her third time? One, two... Yeah, it'll be her third time. Ron? Ron is getting really busy. Cleo is fine. Oh, I can't wait for you to give me regular milk again, Cleo. Or again, for the first time. It's been, like, two years. Actually, yeah, when did we buy Cleo? Was it... Oh, I still have fertilizer on me. Uh, was it, like, in year one? I think it was... Oh, yeah, I think it was, like, at the end of year one is when we first got Cleo. We've had her for two years, and now we're finally gonna get milk out of her. Well, not quite two years, but almost. Either way, it's quite a while. That's the thing about this game. Immediate payoffs aren't really a thing. You just kind of have to build it over time, and eventually you'll make a lot of money. I guess the whole money cur Oh, okay, yes, I see you, Truffle. I guess the money curve in this game compared to other Harvest Moon games is a lot, like, more long-term. Which made sense in the original, which took place, like, over, what, several- like, about a dozen years? In this game, uh... I'm kind of wondering if we can actually afford everything within our time frame. But with the whole limited number of years now. Actually, no, we're gonna have plenty of money by the end. Especially once we get, like, a ton of bobs going. Oh, you guys need food. Uh, how much chicken feed do I still have left? Two bags. Oh, we're gonna order a few more bags. I should honestly let you guys outside. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna rain soon. Oh, that's a golden egg. No, get off that. <laughs> yeah, the thing about your chickens is that sometimes they just want to run over to the egg and sit on it. Even if it's not even their egg. They're kind of weird like that. Alright. Uh, we're pretty much done with the farm work for today. Actually, we could we just sell Pam a meat? Uh, no, I'm going to wait on selling Pam. Plus, I think she's worth more once she's fully grown up. Well, not fully grown up, but more grown up. And we should have enough for the goat tomorrow, even if we can't haggle it down. Because what was it, like, originally? It's, like, 4,000? I think the bare minimum we can haggle it down to is, like, around 2,000. Even still, I might accidentally try to overshoot it, because Van is kind of good at haggling. It is kind of his job. Hi, sweetie. We have a new, uh, what is it? A new cow. Oh, yeah, that is a thing in this game. Basically, as the years go by, your, like, maximum stamina goes up slowly over time. Because, if you notice, I don't think we've actually ever been exhausted since last year. Like, ever. Let's leave until, like, five. I think I might just go to the bar tonight, too, and grab a drink. It's been a while. Plus, I want to see what the nightlife is like in town now. I don't think the nightlife really changes that much in between chapters, compared to, like, the, uh, like, daytime life and individual lives and the children. Oh, speaking of the children, where's my kid? 
Daryl, what I say? Get off my farm. Oh, there he is. Hi, Chatter. Oh, I completely missed my front door. We'll talk to Cheddar later. I want to see if I can trigger an event that can happen. I think we have to do it after, uh, was it, Cheddar goes to bed. And I don't remember what his bedtime is now. I think it's 10, I want to say. He's like, what, 12 or 13? Actually, I think he's like around 12 now. So yeah, I think 10 is reasonable. Considering he doesn't have school in the morning, he just kind of gets up to do farm work. Actually, yeah. Uh, maybe we should send our kid to school, except for the fact that there is no school in this village. Actually, none of the kids really go to school, do they? Hugh doesn't, uh... Well, what's the kid's name who lives with... Grant's fam? Uh, I can't remember her name all of a sudden. They'll probably come back to me in a second, but she doesn't go to school either. Actually, yeah, how, how is anyone in this town getting an education? I mean, I suppose Carter could teach. He is probably a professor, honestly. And then, what is it? Daryl is kind of qualified with the whole scientist thing. Self-proclaimed, I'm guessing. Because I kind of wonder what college would give him a degree. Actually, I don't even know what he does. So far, his research has consisted of giving us a seed maker and uh, trying to find the local yeti. The very easy to find local yeti. Oh, potatoes are done. I think I'll, yeah, I'll keep that field empty too, just so I can, uh, what is it, plant more trees there. Bob is still growing, watermelons are growing, tomatoes, watermelons. Alright, well, everything here is good. Let's grab our uh, evening milk from both of you. Alright, it's gonna it's gonna get, get to that. It's gonna take some getting used to having like two cows to milk now. Still normal milk. That's fine. As long as it stays A quality, we'll be good. Tomorrow you're getting impregnated again. If you can give me like a marble uh, cow or a star cow, I will be so happy. You're probably just gonna give me a regular cow, though. Oh, right. Mother's milk. Uh, here you go. Oh, is she asleep? Cause I can't show her anything right now. Wait. Wait. There it is. Alright, she's good. Let's go see what's happening in town. Oh, Hank is just standing there. I kinda wish he could follow you when you are on your horse. You know, just take him to town and let him see the sights a bit. Although he's a relatively trained dog, we don't have a fence or anything keeping him in. He just kind of stays around. Hi, Hugh. Do I have anything you would like? I don't think so. I don't think you would like a flower. But yeah, Hugh's starting to get big. Oh, hi, Muffy. I want to see something. Are you still glitched out? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Should we just say no? Uh, that's right. Oh, no. I think we fixed her. Either there we've become... Yeah, I think her dialogue's changed enough that she doesn't glitch out whenever we try to give her anything. That's a shame. I kind of miss having glitched out Robot Muffy. Yep. We are working hard, but mostly with the animals. Anyways, I want a drink. I have some money. Give me a stone oil. Just give me that pebble-filled cooking oil. Huh. Huh. Alright, they both basically say the same thing. Anything else happening in town right now that doesn't involve rock? Doesn't look like it. Muffy, where are you going? Oh, are you gonna go see Cody? Eh, I guess you could. Oh, we never saw Gustafa today, did we? I did want to see him. Uh, what time is it? 8.30? He should still be awake. Let's go check his house. No, he's probably out and about somewhere. Where could he be? Uh, I don't see him anywhere around here. Maybe it's like near Vesta's farm. Uh, Takura's out. 
Galen's out. Oh, do I have anything I could give to Galen? I don't think I have any food. That's also a map. Oh, wait. Huh. I never knew the cat had his own icon. He looks mean on that icon. Uh, yeah, I don't see him anywhere. Maybe he's in, the, like, the forest area. Wait, was that Flora? Yeah, that's Flora. Still living in that tent. Oh, at some point I... I did not know that the Chihuahua could stand on top of the tarp like that. Huh. But anyways, at some point I should probably start digging again just to find that tablet piece. Ah, uh, it hasn't really rained, so... I always like to go there during a rainy day just because I like the sound of the rain falling on the tarp when we're under there, but... Yeah, I think I might just go, like, in a few days or so. Still, nothing is really happening today. Oh, there's Gustafa. And no one else. Here you go. Yep, we will give him a flower. And that is it. Well, let's go. Uh, Dizzy, can I get on you? There we go. Let's head to bed. Oh, look at all that grass. I never realized just how valuable grass was in this game. Aw. Sleeping cats are adorable. Actually, anything sleep... Oh, not every anything sleepy is adorable, but a lot of sleeping things are adorable. Hi, sweet... Cheddar, why are you sleeping on the floor? Uh, actually, yeah, that's a good question. What is in this box? Uh, we could try opening it together. Cheddar, maybe we should open that. There might be something trapped in there. Uh, yeah. let's open it now. Fine. Uh, okay. Aren't you like, yeah, you're like 10 or, actually, he's more, looks more like he's around 8, honestly. I was gonna say he's like 12, but yeah, he does look like he's more 8-ish. 8 or 9. Good night, Cheddar. You went to sleep after us. Good job. Alright, now that he's asleep. Unfortunately, we can't actually open the box. Uh, no matter what we try to use on it. I wonder how Cheddar would react to that. The second he goes to sleep, his mom just suddenly grabs a giant hoe and smashes open his treasure box. At least that's where we're assuming is in there. For all we know, there might be a fish trapped in there and... It's gonna start smelling pretty soon. Actually, if a box ever starts smelling like that, I think it would be a good idea to try opening it. Here, let's get up a bit later tomorrow. Let's get up like around 9. I don't know why I always get up at around 7 or 8. It's pretty early. Oh, I think I, uh, I, think I remember the reason I always pick that time. Cheddar, did you... Yeah, you're gonna water the crops. I think I always pick that time just because... Uh, it's a good time to milk the cows. Also, I kind of wish we could skip this cutscene. It was cool the first time, but every time I wake up, it's starting to get a bit annoying. Can we just tell Cheddar to stop? Like, he doesn't have to tell us every single time he watered the crops. At some point, I think we just assume that he's doing it. Oh, is that watermelon done? Not yet. Uh, is this done yet? Not yet. And the bob is still growing. It is almost summer. Actually, once summer comes, I might just plant every single bob seed I have. They're not that hard to make, honestly. It just takes way too long. Just because we have to watch Tarn do the animations every single time. And sometimes I have to reload in between uh, combinations because Tarn accidentally messed it up. Either way, screw it. Next season, I am planting every single bob seed I have. All one of them. Bronze fine. Uh, let's see, truffle's fine. Oh right, we also have wool for truff from a uh, truffle to sell today. Also, I think Cleo needs a bath. There you go. 
Oh, uh, let's see. Hey, Peanut. Oh, Peanut's actually reacting to Cheddar. I guess she does know him pretty well now. I mean, he did grow up with her, and actually by this point, isn't Cheddar like, what? How old would she be at this point? Like, probably around 12 years old? What is the normal lifespan of a cow? Probably relatively long. They're not like dogs or anything. Oh, speaking of dogs, how old is Hank? Because when we got him, he wasn't quite a puppy. He was at least somewhat fully grown, so... I'd say he's like around 13 years old by now. What kind of dog breed lives that long? I kind of want one. Oh, that's a golden egg. Alright, so that's all the farm work done. But yeah, I guess we should just keep getting up a bit later now that Cheddar's pretty much taking care of all the crops for us. He's a good boy. Marlin is also helping. Sometimes. Cheddar, no. Sweetie, please get out of the bowl. I know he's friendly, but uh... I'm pretty sure this is awkward for both of you. Also, where's Cleo? Let's give her a bath. Alright, Cleo, let's get all that dirt off. You have been kind of- oh wow, you- yeah, you really need a bath. You have kind of been sitting in that barn for like a week. Peanut's fine. Uh, Ron might need a bath. I can't really tell. Let's find out. Oh, I see Van. He's heading to the shop. Oh, if Van's heading to the shop, we should probably hide somewhere so we don't see the cutscene. There you go. Oh yeah, you need a bath. Um, depending on whether or not I want to buy a marble slash star cow, I Hank, or if I just want to wait to see if one of my cows will give birth to one, I'm kind of leaning towards wait just so I can save the money for like the food processing room. Also, screw it. I'm taking like a two-hour nap. I want Van to be open, and I kind of want Todd Curry to be back so I can grab that money, because I don't think I have quite four thousand gold yet. There we go. Also, it hasn't rained for a while. Oh. Wait, what? Uh... This is the living room. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, maybe it was a good idea that we slept through that. It is starting to get kind of awkward that every time he tell- Every time, uh, what is it? We want to impregnate a cow, he makes us- Actually, no, he's not even making us watch. He's making us stand outside and listen. What the heck, Takakura? Yeah, I never realized just how weird that was. Like, it would make sense if he had us, like, help him do it, but no. He just tells us that he's going to do it and then makes us wait outside. Oh, well. Oh, hey, Takakura. I saw your note. Oh. You know, you don't have to inform me every single time you do that, or you administer a miracle potion. Oh. Oh my god. Everything is just trying to keep me from getting my stuff. What is it? Oh, it's a duck. I know what I want to name it. Bye. Its name is P. As in pennies. Which is probably what I'm gonna get for him. Now I think I'm gonna get a couple hundred gold. Alright. Well, it's a duck. Bye, P. Oh, actually, now that we have room, uh, let's grab a fertilized egg. Or, er, no, let's keep a fertilized egg. Oh, did I not? Oh, I don't think I sold the milk from last night. That's why I didn't make so much money. Whoops. Either that, we somehow managed to get six balls of milk this morning. Alright, so now that we have the cash, man should be open. For some reason, I thought I was calling my dog on accident. Yep, he's open. Alright, please have the goat. I don't want to have to wait another year for that stupid thing. 
Uh, oh right, can't talk to him from that angle. Hi, Van. Here, let's just sell the, uh, where is it? The gold wool. You can take that. I'm not gonna haggle on this. I think we could haggle if we wanted to, but I'm not gonna risk, uh, losing my chance to haggle on the goat. Alright, goat. Discount? Darn. Alright, guess we're not gonna be able to haggle on this one. Never mind. No, yeah. Let's try one more time. Maybe if we just keep asking for the discount, he'll eventually give it to us. No. Alright, we're paying full price for the goat. No, wait. Wrong button. Nope, wrong button. I have to stop mashing A with Van. There we go. Alright, get over here, you silly goat. Yeah. And let's just stick the goat. There he is. Huh. He's smaller than I remembered. Well, she. Alright, I need a name for this goat. Did they change the sprite for the goat? I don't remember the horns being that skinny. Uh What do we want to name something that's only going to stay around for a little while? Let's name her... Let's name her Marge. She looks like a Marge. And we'll stick her in the corner. Uh, the goats only take one piece of food per day. Thanks for that, Van. Yeah, I think they changed the look of goats in this game. I remember the goat in the original game looking more like a uh, sheep. Yeah, I'm not going to use the goat milker. There's no point. But, uh, we have a goat now. Hi, Marge. She'll be with us for about a year before we sell her. But yep, we can now get goat milk. I guess we can only get one bottle of milk a day. Alright. Get out here, Marge. Come and meet the rest of your family. Where is she? Or, you know, you could go far away from everyone else. That's fine, too. Hi, train. Oh, I also have that fertilized egg I want to put in here. Oh, it has a little picture of a goat on it, too. I just completely forgot what goat milk looked like in this game. Mostly because, yeah, after a while you just kind of never see it again. This is a fertilized egg, right? Why can't I put it in the incubator? Oh, wait, that's right. We haven't actually sold the duck yet. We'll have to wait till tomorrow, then. Never mind. My mistake. Sweetie, when you want to talk about that stuff, maybe you should stand up and not squat. Alright, anything else happening in town today? Oh, I know what I want to do. You know what, let's just go to the dig site for a while. I want to go see if I can find the tablet. I'm kind of feeling lucky today. Actually, no I'm not. Here, let's do something that I should probably do before I head to the dig site. Something that I always forget is a thing in this game. Uh, let's go check our horoscope. I'm not sure how accurate this thing is. Actually, yeah, I never actually watch any of the other channels. I really should. Here we go. Oh, we are very lucky. Well, we're gonna go to the dig site then. Although apparently we weren't lucky enough to uh, get a discount with the goat. Oh well. We had to pay an extra 2,000 gold, but that's fine. We'll make that up pretty quickly. I hope. Actually, wait, no, summer's coming. Actually, no, summer's coming. And we have two cows that can milk now. Well, we'll see. Oh, wait, Flora's running around. It might be too late to go to, uh, go to the dig site. Yeah, Flora's over here. That probably means Carter isn't digging right now. Actually, I think Carter can still dig even without Flora. And by dig, I mean stand there and watch us dig. Because, let's face it, Carter doesn't actually do any digging in there. Actually, no, I suppose he is, considering how big this thing is now. Hey, Carter. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna help. Alright, let's see what we find. 
Well, we found something. Oh. Uh. Okay. Well. That was quick. Yeah, we came at just the tail end of what they were doing. Uh, about that. I found absolutely nothing. Well, we were very lucky, apparently. We got to dig for a whole ten seconds. I'm just gonna go home and go to bed. Actually, no, I'm gonna go milk everything, water everything, and then go to bed. Do I need to buy any seeds right now? I think we're good. I do want to hybridize a bit more at some point. Also, once summer gets here, we need to basically gather as many happy lamps as we uh, can get. I never really realized just how important happy lamps were. Oh, hey, Cheddar. You still in here? Uh, well, I can tell you that. Up seeds. Up seeds. Yeah, up seeds grow in... Sweetie? Did you just walk on top of the wall? Is my son Jesus? I swear he was just walking on top of the pond. But, uh, like, I was, gonna, I was gonna teach him about the whole flower seasons thing, but I think this is more important. Uh, still mother's milk. It's gonna be that like that for a few days. But, yeah, I guess their pathfinding doesn't really take into account the fact that you could have a pond at this point. But I am guessing that he's starting to get a lot really fascinated with animals. He's just spending all of his time in this pasture. Watermelons. Alright, let's make sure everything's watered. Oh, I wonder if we can milk the goat again. Actually, no, I think we milked her a bit too late in the day to do it again. Actually, I don't even remember if we can milk her twice a day. I think we should have a note in the bookshelf about goats. If not, I'm going to assume we can milk her once. Actually, no, I think we can only milk her once a day. It would make sense with the whole only giving her one piece of fodder a day thing. Oh, right, big field. I always forget I have the big field now. Also, that shed just lit up. Still not sure what's in there. Is Tucker just keeping something from us? Is that what happened to our dad? Did Takakura lock him in the shed and has just been keeping him captive for the last 10 years? Actually, no, I think he just died like a year, a few years ago. Oh no, it has been about 10 years, hasn't it? Because he died like shortly before uh, we inherited the farm. Yeah, for all we know, Takakura has just been keeping him captive in that shed for 10 years. That's why we can't go in there. And totally not because the developers just put that there and didn't really do anything with it. Hey Marge, shouldn't you be, like, interacting with everyone else? Oh, no. Nope, never mind. I was gonna say, we can milk her twice a day. But then, no. Marge disagreed with me. Well, we can just go sell the milk, I guess. I think goat milk is actually relatively, uh, what is it? Relatively valuable? Let's find out. Oh, nope, didn't mean to do that. Oh wait, that's right. I also need to get a few bags of bird seed. Actually, let's grab like how much can I afford? Let's grab like four bags of bird seed. Uh, don't need anything from there, and by that I mean I can't afford anything from there. All right, so let's sell the milk and the fertilized egg. We can get one tomorrow. All right then, time for bed. Oh wait, there's also one more thing I want to check. Let me just make sure that we can sell the goat. How much does the goat even sell for? Oh uh, yeah, don't sell P for now. Oh, thank God. Look at that. No, don't sell me right now. We can sell the goat. I am so happy that we can do that. And I don't have to kill the goat in this game. Alright, let's head to bed then. I 
want to see if uh, Cleo's going to give normal milk tomorrow. It has been a few days already. Also, let's not get up at 2 in the morning. Here, let's get up at a little before 8. I was going to say 9, but then I remember what time it is. Hopefully it doesn't rain overnight. Wait, is it going to happen? Yep. Hi, Cheddar. Is it the same as every morning? Cheddar? There we go. Yep, what are the crops? Thanks, kid. Honestly, I might just get up early from now on, just before Cheddar gets up. Eh, too convenient. Anyways, I want to check something real quick. Uh, what are his interests right now? Oh, wow, he's getting really good at uh, farming. And he's still interested in farming and animals. And absolutely no interest in music. Well, that's kind of be expected. We didn't really befriend friend talk her at all, or Lumina for that matter. Whoop, didn't mean to go into your room. Actually, while we're here... Where is his diary? What does it say right now? Alright, same as always. Hi, bear. I'm watching you. Did he just blink at me? No, he's definitely moving, but he's not blinking. Why did we buy that thing from Van again? I mean, sure it was a present for our son, but uh... I'm not so sure that thing isn't going to eat Cheddar at some point. Both the cheese and the kid. I think Cleo's still giving mother's milk. Her udders are still red. What was that sound? Are you okay over there? Hi, Ron. Man, this field is just really green now. I'm glad. Hey, Peanut. Oh, right, you're pregnant, aren't, pregnant, aren't you? Well, you will be in like a day. Still egg quality milk. Yeah, summer heat's starting to settle in. Their milk quantity is going to start going down a bit. That's fine. It's summer. It's to be expected. I don't think goat uh, milk quantity is affected by the heat. Mostly because I only think they give you like one ball of milk anyways. Hey, Hank. Anyways, with that, I think we'll end the episode here. So, next time we'll let's play Harvest Moon Another Wonderful Life. Summer! and all the things that come with it. And by that I mean I think I'm gonna breed like 20 bob seeds in between episodes. Because we're gonna need to make a lot of money. So, till then. Actually, I don't think I have enough up seeds to do all that. No, don't sell anything.